Boys and girls, it's Mrs. Schmidt again from Miles School. Your kindergarten teachers miss you so much. I read you a story in my last video called Someone Bigger. Today I'm going to be reading you our next story from this lesson, and it's a big book called One of Three. Now, before I read the story, I want to remind you about the character in this story named Sam. He had wished that he was a little bit bigger, a little bit older, so he could do things like this, like flying the kite. Do you remember the big idea of this story? You're going to find out that in this story, there is a character that feels kind of the same way. So I want you to be thinking about how one of these characters connects with this character as I read the story. This story is called One of Three. It's written by Angela Johnson and the pictures are by David Soman. Something else I would like you to think about as I read this story is how these three characters are the same or alike and how they're different. These three characters are sisters and they live in the city. Also in the story, boys and girls, you're going to see our two new sight words this week, help and have, both starting with that same beginning sound, ha, ha, ha. So be on the lookout for your sight words. Okay, here we go. This is called One of Three. <clears throat> okay. Since I can remember, I've been one of three. Eva, Nikki, and me. Now we don't know which character is Eva. We don't know which character character is Nikki, and I don't know which character is telling the story. One of the three sisters that walked to school together, down the street together, one of the three in the sun and in the rain. One of the three that lives in apartment number two has long hair and brown eyes and can sometimes play hopscotch by the trash can if I ask for a long time. So I think we know who's telling the story. On Saturdays, I'm one of the three that sits outside the bakery and looks and smells and smells. I am one of the three that squeezes into the taxi on snowy days with Mama, Aunt Sarah, and Grandma, and it's warm in there. I am one of the three that looks just like our mama, smiles just like our daddy, and holds hands with my sisters in the store, looking like triplets, almost. I am one of the three that likes the subway, the people on it, and the way our feet hang over the seats. So I can tell that these three sisters do a lot of things together. <clears throat> I am one of the three who lives over the flower shop. Mr. Lowen still gets all of our names wrong, but he gives us each a daisy every time. We walk down the street like stair steps and I'm in the front. Look at the 
glasses on these girls. Sometimes Eva and Nikki say, I'm not invited to go with them. Not to the park, the store, or sometimes even for a walk. I'm left behind, not one of three, but just one. <clears throat> then Mama calls me sister and says, I'm too little to go there or do that. So maybe I just want to help her paint or read to her. This reminds me a little bit of the other story, boys and girls. Can you make a connection? <clears throat> Daddy says that I have to be the baby sometimes and keep Mama and him company just sometimes. I miss Eva and Nikki and me. But when it's just Mama, Daddy, and me, it's a different kind of three. And that's fine, too. Now, the last page has no words on it. But I know that you can picture read and think about what's happening on the last page. She has become one of three again. Her sisters are home. I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. I'll see you soon.